Hi everyone, I'm CJ aka Adventure Shark 24 and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, where today, in this episode, we're going to be continuing our journey as fugitives, running away from all the people of whatever it was called, Pokemon Square, that are now against us and trying to kill us all because they think we're the evil ones. But me, and Eve agrees with me on, th on the opinion that there's a good chance that that's probably not the case. We have to get over this mountain to get away. Let's go as soon as we're ready, CJ. First, I just want to make sure my items are all organized and ready. Oh yeah, since the last episode, I've I've found out through watching other other people's videos on this game that apparently the move Nuzzle, when you learn it, it's like, you know, it's a 20 power move and it always paralyzes the opponent. Apparently, Mystery Dungeon's gameplay makes Nuzzle overpowered. And apparently, Pikachu is overpowered by extension because Pikachu learns Nuzzle apparently at level 28. So, I'm super excited to learn that we might be getting super overpowered soon, because we're level 25, we're, we're super close to that. But anyway, enough preparation, I think we're ready. In we go. Which way should we go? Mount Blaze or Rock Path? Rock Path is obviously for if you want to just take an easier route that'll probably loop back around on itself, but it's for grinding if you want to gain EXP experience points. I'm assuming that's and, like, stockpile items. That's the way you'd want to go, but I think we're ready. We can handle the, We can handle progressing the story. We're pretty strong. Let's go. Mount Blaze. It sounds very rough, but let's try our best. In we go. Mount Blaze. First floor. Oh, I love the- I love the way this dungeon looks with the art style. Look at all the lava. This is- this almost looks like Minecraft lava, in a way. But, like, hand-drawn. It looks so good. Oh, I was burned already? Seriously? First enemy of the dungeon, and I'm already getting burned. Apparently, as well, the, like, burn and poison status are different in Mystery Dungeon, and apparently they're much more dangerous in this game. So I'm not gonna heal it yet, I'm just kinda curious what this burn is gonna do when I eventually take damage from it, cause in past titles, it's very minuscule. Like, you take like, I don't know, maybe 20 damage from the burn or poisoning or something. Poisoning used to be like, I don't know, 5 damage in Explorers of Sky or something weak like that. But I'm curious how much this burn is gonna do to me. 20 damage! That's a really big chunk of my HP, actually. That's dangerous. Can we find the stairs, please? I want to not use up my only lost berry already. So, like, can we just find the stairs? Oh! We're in danger already? I'm gonna use up a Reviver Seed here. Okay, you're using Synthesis, which is good. I need to take care of this Nomo. I, I might- Oh, right, it doesn't affect. I'm so dumb. No, we're, we're in so much danger already. I hope that Slugma doesn't have Ember. It probably does, to BH. You know what? I'm so dumb. I used it again. Uh, you know what? That's fair. You can use an Orin Berry. Actually, no. Use Synthesis, please. No, you're using Ancient Power. Eve, you're gonna die. Oh, no, never mind. I'm gonna die because this thing attacked me. How are we in such danger already? I need to eat an Orin Berry, and hopefully Eve can take out that Slugma. Or they're gonna get knocked out too. I don't want to use an Orin Berry on you as well. There we go, use Synthesis, heal yourself up. No! Are you kidding me? These things have Incinerate? They burned a Reviver Seed? I'm not gonna be an idiot this time, and I'm gonna use Iron Tail. Get out of here. They wasted one of our Reviver Seeds, even though I went to all the effort to not use one up. And now another Slugma is coming. I should have healed that burn. Please, move on. It's only floor one. Maybe we should have went to Rock Path to grind? Because I'd completely forgotten that we actually have a Grass-type, which is not ideal for this place. 
Alright, I still think we're good, in all fairness. I just think we need to be more careful. Because it has been a few days since I played Mystery Dungeon last, and since I recorded the last episode, so I am a little rusty. But I didn't think the rust was going to matter that much. Oh, okay, uh, uh, okay, good. Eve levels up to 24. Nice. Always appreciate these level up boosts. I just can't believe that enemy knew Incinerate. Who used that? Was that Slugma that used Incinerate? It just stole one of our Reviver Seeds. I just hate it when enemies do that. As long as we're careful when we have to fight a Slugma, we should be safe. Actually, it's been a while since I've seen a Slugma. Since that one that used Incinerate on us when we were in big trouble, I haven't actually seen- Oh, never mind. Speak of a devil. It's like, I want to register the Graveler Rocks so that I can throw them easier, but I don't want Eve to, like, waste all our Graveler Rocks, because when you set them and register them, your allies just do nothing but throw the rocks. So I just have to throw them manually on my own. <laughs> what? Flame Body burned the flying item? Okay, well, it's good to know that this thing has Flame Body. I was gonna mention it earlier, but I didn't. I was- I was gonna say, like, I hope none of these enemies have, like, flame body so I don't get burned, cause 90% of my moves- Like, half of my moves are physical attacks, so my only safe option is Thunderbolt against Slugma. But if I get burned from flame body, then that's also really not good. I can't use Thunderbolt on you either. Type immunities being a thing makes this whole experience a lot harder. Because, like, if this was Explo if this was Explorers of Sky, I would just be spamming Thunderbolt and my electric moves even on the ground types from the corridors. But, because I'm not able to use electric moves on ground types, I can't just rely on, hey, I'm gonna hit this enemy in a spot where it can't touch me. Ugh, clear smog. Ugh. I just really hope that these Magby- I hope- that the only enemy that can use Incinerate is Slugma. No one else better be using that. A Link Box, another one of these, and Petrify Wands. Okay, not bad, Petrify Wands are good. How much experience do I need to level up at this point? 99! Oh hey, I'm close! No, 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 this thing is gonna use Incinerate! No, Slugma, I can't even- No! Oh, it took the orange berry. Um, oh, okay. Sure. That's still really bad. Because that orange berry saved us earlier, but... From wasting another Reviver Seed from death. But... Man, Incinerate. We just need to make sure that we're never in a spot where we can't insta-KO a Slugma. Because that just ruins us. Incinerate? Man, it's so bad. But uh, there we go, we've leveled up. It only took a few enemies. There we go, I level up to 26. Two more and we get Nuzzle. Oh, but it looks like we're winning, learning a move now anyways. Spark. Alright, we got Spark here. It damages an enemy. It could also cause paralysis. To be honest, no. I don't think, I don't think Spark is worth it. Thunderbolt is so much stronger. And it hits in a circle around us. Sure, its accuracy sucks, but we can improve that with items. But like this only hits the enemy in front of us. It's a physical move, which is weaker than my, which is gonna be weaker because I think my special attack is a lot higher than physical attack. So yeah, no, we n no, we can't take Spark. But what I am curious about, ah, four thousand two hundred and sixty XP to level up again. Okay. Definitely not the kind of thing we're gonna be able to, you know, grind for, per se, here. Because the longer we're in here, the more items we're risking losing to incinerate. Which I don't want. So, we're just gonna move forward. Ooh, sunny. Sunny weather. Ugh. Oh, hey, we got a Reviver Seed to replace the one that was lost. That's good. But there's a Slugma there, which is not good. And I can't even use Graveler Rocks to try and cheese it, because... The flame body just absorbs gravel rocks, apparently. No! Okay, it only used yawn. I'm okay with this as long as we can knock it out. No! 
No! It took the blast seed! Die, please! It's not even dead yet from one hit! That sucks so bad! Use the Chesto Berry, wake me up, I don't care! Wake me up, please! Okay, used Rock Throw? Fiend? Will this kill? Okay. Oh my goodness, I I withdrew that Blast Seed specifically for this dungeon, just in case there was a boss fight, and it got eaten up again. This is a very strangely shaped room. It's like all a big corridor with lava. It's like a swirly maze. Hopefully we're gonna have enough supplies to defeat whatever boss could potentially be at the end of this. Eve, whatever you do. No! Don't wake up the slugma, please. Okay, good. We just want to grab these items. Let the sleeping slug lie. Oh, that's a slugma. Ugh, I want to avoid that as much as we can. We're actually in a very bad place right now, so I'm just going to use rocks to deal with these enemies. You have flame body too? What the heck? I'm just gonna get burned, because I can't even use Thunderbolt right now. Surely Pidgeot wouldn't have Flame Body, right? This can hit. Okay, good. Okay, Ancient Power. And you get the boost. That's pretty nice. Feet should be able to finish off you, okay. You, I don't like being a thing that exists, though. Whatever that last item is, I don't care, let's just go. Oh, of course I get hit with a slumber trap. It's always me. Hi, how are you? No, 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 no. Isn't there a feature? Yeah, I can look around. What are the items that are over here? Okay, it's just money. I don't care about money. It's useful for the camps, but there's money over here anyways, and I'd rather not deal with unnecessary conflict. No, 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 no. I'd rather- No, why are you fighting- Eve, what are you doing? Do not- Fight the slugma. Okay, that's it. Come back this way. We're just gonna peacefully try and ignore the slugma. Oh great, it's gonna come this way, ain't it? Hey there, Pikachu! Oh, it's right there. You know what? I can handle you from a distance. There we go. We can we can handle this. We're gonna go for an iron tail. Pretty good. Oh, why are there so many Slugma appearing now? Please just stay back! Stay back, Slugma! Take that! Please, don't get- don't come any closer! These things cannot be allowed to live more than two seconds being near me. What is that enemy that's coming up? Okay, it's a Slugma. It's not even worth- No, I don't care. Let's just go. Oh, why? Please just go away. I thought Slugma was a pretty darn cool Pokemon before today. But now it's becoming my worst enemy. How much do you want to bet that these enemy that like all three of these enemies around us are Slugma? We're not gonna stay to find out. Wonderful weather we're having. Oh what the heck! Unlucky spawn! Uh why does it always have to be Slugma? Uh, can I just confuse this thing? Oh what? A Torkoal? We haven't even seen one of you before yet. I'm gonna use a Thunderbolt. Does that Oko it? No, not quite. Oh, uh, why? My accuracy. Of all things, that is not what I need to be lowered right now. Please don't tell me that this Torkoal has... I j I'm just really hoping this Torkoal... I'm gonna die if I miss this move. Please hit. Okay, good. A crit is... The fact that that thing lived scares me. And it needed to be hit twice. That freaks me out a little. And I can't move! Please! I need to confuse the slugma again! Back! Stay back! Stay back, you savage! No, 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 we gotta get, we gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta run away from this thing. Uh, do we have another item that we can use to repel this thing and keep it away from us? It's gonna come close. Now we get to use Thunderbolt. No! Ugh! Can I actually just, uh... Can I confuse you again, please? There we go. Attack the wrong way. I'm hoping it... 
Okay, good. I thought it would turn to face me for a second. Please just hit the move! Okay. How many floors does this place have? Do not wake the slugma. We're just gonna move on. I would stay here to grind, but, like, it's literally not even worth it. I'm just gonna... Okay, I guess now I have to step in and protect Eve. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm okay with you using Rock Throw as long as you just don't... incinerate. So this is the most cautious I've ever been in this whole game so far, just because they, at any moment, we could just randomly get hit with a some super deadly move, or incinerate, and it just wastes everything we have. Uh. I think our only way of surviving this is going to be... Petrify Orb. Yeah, okay, I, I used up our Petrify Orb. You know what, Eve? You can take it. Eat, eat that and heal up. Uh, two Torkoals? Can we just... Why do you have to fight? I need to... I, okay. Eve, can I customize something about your personality? Can I make it so you just don't fight, please? Tactics meeting. That's what we need. Follow me. I'm gonna priority. I'm gonna make your priority to follow me so that you focus on running away. Oh, thank goodness you got the double hit. We needed that. If I throw a rock right now, this thing isn't gonna get hit by it. Oh, it does. Okay, that's actually really good to know. Torkoal gets hit by graveler rocks. You don't have flame body. That's really helpful to know. Uh, no, 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 uh... Eve, you can handle this, right? Throw a rock, please. Actually, you can't. Okay, thank goodness that killed it, but... Uh... Wait, I'm burned! I don't even have... I guess that's just a reviver seed used up. I can't, e I can't even escape that. I'm just dead. The slugma died, but I'm just gonna die in a couple seconds. Unless we can get to the stairs? Oh my goodness, that was so close. I bet I was like one to- <gasps> What the? Arcanine? No, 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 no. That's a big nope. Big, big nope for me. Eve is gonna die right here, I think. But I'm just gonna stay back. Why reflect? Oh, hey, actually, it used bite. That's not bad. The reflect actually kinda helped with that. But just please. I'm gonna stay back, throw these rocks. We just need the Arcanine to not survive. You got the boost? Oh, the boost helps. Oh, you're burned now too, but at least you have synthesis. So burn isn't- burn from walking around isn't too much to worry about since you have synthesis to heal yourself, but... What's this? Grimy food? That brings back nostalgia. Gonna use Thunderbolt? Of course I miss! I always miss in the worst times, now I'm dead. Cause this Arcanine is gonna murder me. Okay good, Eve saved my life. I just realized, because I've been just on edge this whole time from how scary this dungeon has been, Like, because I've been on edge this entire time, I haven't even been able to compliment how amazing this level's music is. Just because I'm whole- st I'm stressful this whole time. I'm stressed out, even. Are Geopebbles stronger than Graveler Rocks? Because, like, we- we've definitely not seen as many of these as we have Graveler Rocks, so what are these? Apparently Geopebbles just have terrible range. Yeah, we're gonna take two of those apples. May as well take the stun seed. It could save us from a slugma. Uh, what's that item? That's a rock. We don't need those. Let's go. Oh, that was the last floor. Oh, it's a halfway point. You know what? I'll take it. We're not done yet. Eve, what do you have to say about this? We've made it pretty high up. We're nearly there, I think. Let's do this. Alright, I'm just gonna organize my stuff and try to prepare my- prepare myself mentally and emotionally. 
We're gonna withdraw three Orin Berries to make up for not being able to heal status. But apart from that, we're ready. Let's go. We've got our Reviver Seeds. Oh, already we're straight back into it, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna hope that this toy coal targets me and not Eve. Actually, you know what? Fine, fair enough. We'll use one of our three Orion Berries that I deposited on the first floor. If these are Reviver Seeds, then this is worth it. I drop seed, bleh. I drop seed, bleh. I drop seed, bleh. No. Yes, using two double teams in a single turn is an amazing use of our time. Three doubles- I got three double teams in before I had to run in and help. Oh, but Eve's got it- Eve's got it under control any- A TM! It's been forever since we found one of these. What do we got? Actually, is this the first time we've seen a TM on the floor of a dungeon? Substitute, okay. To be honest, these Arcanine are way less threatening than the Slugma that we were having to deal with before. Slugmas aren't really appealing anymore, now it's just all Arcanine, which in, on paper sounds more threatening, but these Arcanine are like... these Arcanine are... Okay, well they're not exactly pushovers, like I was about to say, but... They're definitely no, no, nowhere near the same league of scary as the, the Slugma were. I just realized I'm gonna die. I have an Orion Berry, but should I just waste a Reviver Seed so that I'm not burned anymore? Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> you know what, I'm fine with that. We'll use one Reviver Seed. Just so that I'm not burned anymore. But man, see, that's what I'm talking about. Burn is so much more threatening in this game, because you die from it. Actually, ha being able to, like, physically die from the damage of the- of being, like, burned or poisoned makes it so much more threatening. Oh, that was the last floor. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. We're- we're at the end. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Ooh, it's, it's, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. Ooh, burn, you're getting roasted by this f fire and lava and this volcano. That slugma from earlier in the dungeon was ha had some fire roasts. Anyways, I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying earlier. I don't want to. I don't want. I would grind to try to level up to learn Nuzzle, but I don't want to spend any time in this dungeon. Let's get through this quick because you're the grass type here. Halt! Halt! Huh? Ooh, huh? It suddenly turned dark. I can hear the mountain screams. It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Blaze to wreath in agony. Is it you? Huh? That's that's wrong. We're that's wrong. We're innocent. We were just passing through. We were just passing through this volcano. Flah. <laughs> Menacing. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres, the warrior of fire, am I? There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. Ungod! Ooh! That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Boss fight time! Are we strong enough to handle this? We don't even have al we don't even have busted hair across allies to spam bullet seed on our side this time. It's just us. We're on our own. I think we have enough reviver seeds that we can maybe cheese it, but still kind of concerned. When I was editing the video where we took down uh, Zapdos, I noticed that uh, double team worked out for us when it 
use Sky Attack. Sky Attack missed me last time when it did that whole huge thing that hit every every one of us that was standing in front of Zapdos. It missed me because I used Double Team. I think that was a good strat, but you know what? We're gonna start this time with... Actually, the Double Team can help. We're gonna start with that. Razor Leaf, not bad. I want... I want this thing to come to us. Oh, it used agility. Uh, okay. This thing has agility. That's kind of threatening. If it were, if if agility works the same as it does in Explosive Sky, then this thing might be able to use multiple attacks on us in a single turn now, which is scary. But I'm still willing to just stand here and spam double team. I want you to come to us, not us to come to you. What the heck? Your Ember hits both of us? I, w I was about to be like, ha 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 You just missed us by firing in between us, and then it somehow just hits both of us. What kind of logic is that? I think stun seeds and stuff actually work on bosses, if I'm correct. Is this gonna stun you? It does. This allows us to get a perfect opportunity to come closer. Oh, no, it wears off instantly. That only hits me, though, which is good. But we're g I'm gonna die? <laughs> I think if I confuse you, that'd be fine. Confusion! Oh, never mind, that did not work at all. <laughs> okay, first Reviver Seed in a boss fight, we'll use it. Let's just try a Thunderbolt. Simple Thunderbolt. 82 damage, clean. Clean, clean. Very good. I was gonna use my Blast Seeds on this boss fight, but to be honest, Thunderbolt almost does as much as a Blast Seed. Up close. And that did more than a Blast Seed, that was 102 damage and it got paralyzed, which used up their turn. Allowing us to go again, and do another 80 damage. Honestly, I don't think we need the Blast Seeds. We can save them for another boss fight. We can handle this. No more items used up. Let's just survive this, and the double team worked out for us there. Please, one more hit. We just gotta double team this Moltres. Please, I can survive one more turn. We just gotta finish him off. Go! That was it! We did it! Only one, only one Reviver Seed used up. Not bad. We did it. We, we conquered Zapdos. And then we, somehow we've conquered Moltres on our own without ally help. Actually, wait a minute. I don't think that was the first Reviver Seed we ever, we've ever used up in a boss. Because didn't Eve die? I, th I, th I think Eve got knocked out by... Oh, I think Eve got O-Code by, by Zapdos' Sky Attack before when we fought Zapdos. So, never mind. That wasn't the first time we've ever died in a boss fight. So, whatever. I think that, I think that went about as well as it could have. There you go. Uh, uh, I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Yeah. Wait, please listen. We're not here to cause any trouble. We were chased to this mountain. And you should know, this mountain isn't the only place that is suffering. Natural calamities are happening in all sorts of places. We can't do anything. We're fugitives now. But we want to help Pokémon in these times of natural disasters. Hmm... Do you say that sincerely? It's true! Please believe me! If you think I'm lying, please look at my eyes! Look at these eyes! How could you not trust these eyes? These green bean- living green bean eyes. Hmm. 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 Sorry, I just channeled my inner brawl pit voice there. Hmm. Fine. 
I trust that you aren't lying. Woo, my gosh. I thought my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that wreck our world. And stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... <laughs> Eve, why did you say that? hi ya ya We will. We will do it as soon as we can. We will. We promise. We'll do it. We're gonna stop the disasters. We're being chased, so we can't get on it right away. But we're a rescue team. We'll get to the bottom of what's causing the natural calamities. I promise. Hmm. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor it. As long as you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Ah! Ah, is, is there anything else? See, it's understandable for Eve to be so freaked out by this because, I mean, they're just a Chikorita. They're a tiny stage one, stage zero grass type starter. And this dungeon, all these random slugmas were obliterating us. And this thing is a legendary firebird. No, I was only preparing to take off. Oh, does, does it need to do that? Farewell! Okay, see you around. Woo. Ew, that was scary. But it's really great that Moltres understood us. Why'd you say ew to that? That doesn't seem like a reaction to that. Are you grossed out by how scary that was? Anyway, we should get off Mount Blaze too. Yes, let's leave! Finally, no more incinerate! I'm just hoping that the next area doesn't have, like, bug bite or something. Okay, we made it through. CJ successfully made it through the Mount Blaze peak. We did it. Oh, Doesn't seem like we're fully out of the clear yet, though. <sighs> We walked a lot, didn't we? I'm tired. Let's let's get a little rest. Hmm. The view's fantastic. Oh, look, CJ, look over there. It's Mount Blaze. <laughs> Remember when we almost died that one time there? Ah, lovely memories, right? See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way, haven't we? Um, CJ? Wasn't it hard getting over Mount Blaze? Yes, literally yes. I doubt that many Pokémon would be able to get through it. And it wasn't easy coming this far after that mountain. Do you want to know what I think? Do you think, maybe, that no Pokémon will be able to get to us here? Some still could. You're right, no one can get us. Ha ha ha. The bottom option in these cutscenes has always been the humorous option with jokes. So we're gonna pick the bottom one, but realistically speaking, no, there are definitely Pokemon that could be following us here. Like, not <laughs> Alkazam. But anyways, you're right, no one can get us here. Yeah, uh -huh. I thought so. You think so too, CJ, right? Yeah, you're right. There can't be anyone else. Ha 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 ha. Alright, we can say goodbye to living like fugitives. We don't have to keep running away anymore. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. It's... It's no good, CJ. We've forgotten some- we've forgotten some tough customers. It's Alakazam's team. They'll keep chasing us wherever we go. Yep, 
we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. No sleep. No sleep here. They're gonna they're gonna destroy us in our sleep if we rest here. I think we need to go somewhere that no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Off we go. Oh, what's wrong? Aren't we going, CJ? How are you doing that? Pardon? Am I am I tired? They're trying to catch us. We don't have time to rest. And remember what I said? I said I would go with you, CJ. <sighs> oh, please don't look like that. Honest, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine after this volcanic adventure where I, where the leaf on my head it has probably been like probably has like holes in it now from all the fire. And ashes and stuff, and these sl magma slugs chasing us. Let's go, CJ. I'll always stick with you. Well, off we go. We keep going. Remember, keep in mind in story context, we're, like we we're st we've been, we've just been running the whole time. Like we're not stopping to sleep ever on this whole on this whole journey. There may be gaps in between episodes, but these gaps in story context definitely don't exist. And so, CJ's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. I'm sorry, but I don't think anywhere else in this game is going to be more deadly than Mount Blaze for us. Then again, I feel like... I'm not gonna say anything. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains. Forded Fetid swamps, whatever that means. And scaled frozen cliffs. Let it- I'm not gonna do it. Till finally, CJ's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. Well, I guess I can talk about it now. I was, I was gonna say, literally five seconds ago, that, uh, yeah. The only place that could possibly be more worrying for us, or come even close, then Mount Blaze is Ice Types, which I remembered was coming next, but I still don't think this is gonna be anywhere near as bad, because if there are Ice Types, Iron Tail that I have on my moveset is super effective against Ice, that's gonna come in handy. And also, not to, me not to mention that I don't believe these Ice Types are gonna be having any moves that are gonna be stealing items from our inventory, and stealing our food. Which was really the only main problem with this Mount Blaze adventure. We kept losing our items, or had a huge risk of losing our stuff. But that's not probably not going to be happening here, so we're going to live. We're going to make it through this. Promise. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. Here we are, the frozen forest. This place looks so good. It's cold. Hatchu! Hatchu! P... 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 Catchu! Sorry, I had to make that joke. Yuck. Blech. My nose is running, and it's freezing. Yeah, cause this is... Man, you know what? Chikorita and any other grass-type starter that you could start with as a partner or protagonist, they have it rough in this game, because you adventure through volcanoes and then immediately afterwards ice forests, which ice is super effective against grass. You're not just- you're not having fun anywhere we go, Eve, yet I'm just- I'm chilling here, I'm fine, electric is neutral against fire and ice. Like... Like, I'm fine here, but you're- but you're definitely getting run ragged on this journey. Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is. I haven't seen any other Pokémon for a while, either. Maybe we're all alone here. Oh? What's the matter? Ah, oh, we're not alone! What? Hmm. What? Well, well, what's that? What do you mean, what's that? Yep, don't you mean, who is that? What was that? It looks like a Pokémon, but... Eve, really. Maybe, maybe you are a little tired right now. Maybe you need some rest. Cause if your eyes aren't functioning to the point where you don't even notice that that was a living creature. Uh, yeah, that, that thing literally had a face and was staring at us with its 
very shiny eyes. Like, what, what, what? How do you not notice that? Did I imagine that? No, I don't, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. I agree. Let's keep go- let's keep moving forward. Oh! CJ, look! See that? Those trees are frozen! Oh, this place looks pretty, but also kind of blinding. <laughs> wow, the snow is like frozen powder! It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. For you, anyways. For me? I'm just, I'm just, I've, I mean, I've got fur. I'm just a fluffy Pikachu here. I, I should be able, I shouldn't be too cold, right? Right? Okay, we don't have a choice. We have to get through this place. Oh! What was that? Like, brief, extremely brief winds of despair moment here. It will be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going, CJ. Alright, here we are. Well, this is where we're gonna end this video here, because I've been recording for an hour and six minutes. But yeah, that'll be about it for this video. Please like the video if you like the video, of course. And subscribe, maybe, if you want to see more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, where we're gonna continue the journey and set out into... What is this place called? Do you know? It's terribly cold, but we got this. Okay, you don't know. Well, whatever this place is called, we're gonna be going through it and see and progressing the story and seeing what happens next. Adventure on!